Welcome back, y'all. Today we hit some uh, private water in a rock quarry lake, and it gets absolutely wild on top water. Let's go. Morning, y'all. Oh my, what was that? <laughs> this one might be decent. <laughs> Where's that net? <laughs> oh gosh, on oh, the popper, it's a big one. Still a little congested. Let me know the best thing for sinus infections. Aside from like Dayquil, Sudafed, all the good stuff. We've tried it all. Aside from a month long sickness, we're about to launch the boat on some private water. Check this place out. This is insane. This is available at privatewaterfishing.com. You guys can actually check the link in the description for a discount if you want to use this service where you can actually reserve an entire lake to yourself the entire day. The place is all yours. First time fishing this location, and we're just prepping the boat because this actually has a complete concrete rib, as you can see here. They've also got an available John boat for your use. Torrance is about to meet up with us on his uh, autopilot kayak. So, a lot of opportunities to fish this in multiple different ways. There's a lot of islands here, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm assuming some very deep water. It doesn't look super clear at this very spot right here with all this dirt, but I think on the other side where there's less wind, it's been really windy, it's gonna be extremely clear water. We've got opportunity to catch a lot of big fish at this spot. So we're a little short on time. We've only got a few hours to fish this property today. So hopefully we can put some big ones in the boat for you guys, or at least get on some numbers. Have a lot of fun out here. Another day of fishing. So let's go ahead and back her up. As soon as we dropped in, Devin pulled the trailer out. There's shad jumping all over the place. So I think I know what we're gonna be starting off with, man. Probably some shad crankbaits. Maybe some top water, we'll see. All right, we're a little unfamiliar with the place, but it looks like this could be pretty shallow right here. We're just gonna hop on the trolling motor. That way we don't risk damaging the prop here yeah, until we figure out a little bit of the depths. It says we're only in four, three and a half to four feet at the moment, but it also looks like we're kind of over some grass. This is, I'd maybe start with the popper. Big grass, yeah. This is either a ton of fish this way or right on top of some fish, crappie or something. That's that's probably the best, a swim jig or a... Yeah, see now look guys, there's grass all the way up to the surface. So maybe either some top water or uh, some swim baits. That's probably gonna be the real money maker. Throw some top water on this grass. Morning y'all. Whoop, top water. There we go. <laughs> well, he hit the popper. Yeah. Nice one. There we go. Wow, taking a little drag. Woo! That's not bad at all. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because the treble hooks. We're going to grab the net out for this one real quick just because we're using the treble hooks. I'm sure I can flip them up here just fine, but I don't want to bend those out. There we go, nice one for the first one of the day. That might be probably three something. Uh, where's my pliers? He was so, fighting so hard in the water to just give up as soon as he gets in the boat. There we go with the first solid one for the morning. We might just kind of toss him in the live well and see if we can get us a nice little bag today. Let's go research. <sighs> Manual. You want another popper? I can tie another one on, or a different top water. All right, that's a good one to start the day. Devin's still in the popper, I'm gonna tie on another one. I think. <laughs> I have a frog on, that's gonna be exactly what I'm gonna retie. There's Torrance, got one in the boat over there. All right, it's a party. Woo, golly. Had another bite, lines wrapped around everything on the boat. <laughs> Whoa, you just had one go for that. That was after the, the big swim bait. Devin's throwing the citizen. Oh, I thought you broke it off. It sounded like a snap, that whip. Y'all want us to go ahead and tow you in now or do you want to drift a little bit? What do you, you want to switch out that battery? Okay, we'll come on over. Got some thick grass. Oh. 
Oh my, what was that? <laughs> this one might be decent. <laughs> Where's that net? <laughs> oh gosh, on oh, the popper, it's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, that one beats four. That might be five. Holy smokes. He choked it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> That's how you get the blood flowing, y'all. Throw popper. The grass is almost to the surface out here. I just kind of threw it right in the middle of nowhere because the grass is literally almost up to the boat. So top water is going to be one of the primo options. And look at that beast right there. Live well for pictures here in a minute. Oh boy. It's going to be a good day. Top five, top five, top five. Morning, sir. Morning. <laughs> they need to re-up on the battery, the juice. Uh, dude, I got like a four and a half to five on a popper. What? Yeah, in the shade still over here. Popper, huh? That's, that's what I was having luck on. You got it, come on. <laughs> it's a party, so we got the aluminum, we got the little bass brat, and then we got the uh, kayak. Do y'all need anything else? Oh, All right, dude, this place is awesome, right? Oh my god! Like this is crazy. All right, y'all, we're back on the water. That was uh, Scott and Steve, though, with Private Water Fishing. They're out here. We're actually test fishing this property for the first time that anyone's ever fished it as of being acquired by Private Water Fishing. It's going to be available to the members, I assume, uh, if not right now, very soon. We'll tell you a little bit more about the property after we fish it some more and get a really good idea and understanding of it. But we had to tow them in on that little bass brat boat. I always just call them little pelican style boats. Their battery was low, but they got another one. So they're about to be out here with a full tank of juice. And Torrance is launching right now. We are right back in the same zone where we caught that big one on top water. Devin's throwing the citizen swim bait. We're gonna see if we can get us a lot more for y'all today. I'm throwing top water as long as I can. Gosh, there we go. That one looked, oh no, that one looked good. Oh no, gosh, dang it. Oh, that even got them riled up in the live well. That was crazy. Holy smokes, that was a good one. I like this little grass patch out here in the middle of nowhere. This is, this is the deal. It literally says we're in 2.5 feet just because the grass is way up to the surface. If I get one more on this, you should use it. And I'll tie on the black one that we have with uh, finger oil. <sighs> oh, that looks like a good one. That looks like a really good one. Net, 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 net. This one's gonna be good. This one's gonna be good. Oh gosh. This one's really good. This one's really good. This one's really good. That's a big one. Oh. 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 <laughs> there we go. Wow. I don't feel sick anymore. Oh my gosh. That's like a six and a half to, that's like a, ooh, I don't know. That's a big one. No, that's a big one. Nah, that can't be, can it? A potential PB? I, mean, I guess it could be. Honest to God. Spot locking. Wow, that's a big one. The popper today. Where is the scale? Well, that's a good one. So fat, kind of a small mouth. I bet you that's a five and a half to six. Oh, the white blooper, look. Is it spot locked? No, because we're in the grass. All right, y'all, spot locking. We are putting this one in the box. Holy tankosaurus. Let's go ahead and get this thing on the scale real quick, see what it weighs. All right, y'all, we want to get a sense for what you can catch out here. This property, by the way, is called the Bluffs of Sandy Shores. Oh yeah, over six. 6.04. That's on hundredth, so it's right at a six pounder. I'm gonna just double check it because I want to. Yep, holding steady, right at 604. Sick, y'all. All right, going in the well. Top five, top five, I'll say it again. Got something. Oh, wow. I got, I got, got. He came off twice. He'll probably eat it again. Thought that was fish. Well, we made it over here to this steep wall with some reeds, some shade, at least the last bit of shade before the sun gets too high. Tons of grass in here. I mean, this is where you bring the swim baits, but top water's hitting ball transition. The bites have been a little bit more sparse, but we've had a few here. Might have to switch things up in a moment. Pretty windy and not super clear. I would do, I think I'm gonna switch it up to a lipless because it's loud, kind of like that popper. They're liking the noise. I think it is really windy today. 
and uh, this is a shad pattern. We saw some shad on the bank, a little bit tinier than this, but almost the same size, so we're matching the hatch. Uh, fall, great time to throw crankbaits, and I'm choosing the lipless because there's so much grass here. If it was just all rock, then I would throw a square bill, but I'm gonna rock that lipless for a minute. This is the clutch, and that's my favorite color shotgun shad. Let's get it rigged up on a reaction rod, which is perfect for cranking. In fact, I've got one right here ready to go. All right, y'all, it has gotten extremely windy. I'm gonna break out the old spinner bait. There's a mixture of bluegill and shad in here. So this is gonna represent a bluegill as it is the bluegill color. I'm just gonna throw it by itself for a moment before I throw a saucy swimmer on it. I have them ready to go just in case. But then also it's got these blades and that kind of represents the shad that they're seeing. This is like exactly the same size as those shad. This could be the money maker right here. It moves a little bit slower and it's gonna stay up on the surface. So hopefully we won't get caught in as much grass, but it'll draw them up out of it. As the bite has slowed since the top water hits. So this might be what gets them. I wanted to go explore over there, but maybe it's not worth it. Look at this nice little, oh shit, rock. Is this like a sunken ship? Oh, got one. There we go. Spinner baby. All right. A good, fish too. good fish. Oh, well, we found him in the back 40, y'all. Look at this. This is insane. Just switched up to a new area of the spot. The water clarity is completely different. We went past all this grass. There's like dirt and rock all over the place. And that was the first one on the spinner bait. Devin just switched it up to a Texas rig. It's less grassy back here. We're gonna see what happens. I don't wanna hit this though, so I'm gonna turn this around a little bit. Got one. All right, let me... Uh... Definitely some rock mixed in. This guy's gonna be 14 inches or more, so he qualifies to stay in. Well, y'all, we just caught that spinnerbait fish and we have made it to what seems to be the back 40. So cool back here. I mean, it is windy today, which is our only concern. It's like kind of sketchy working the trolling motor through here thinking you might just bust off the prop on some rock, but a lot of it just seems to be kind of a sandy bottom. So we are uh, just exploring the back half here and then we're gonna get back out over into the main lake, but seems like the bite is uh, not that bad back here. So let's see if we can find another one here on the moving baits or Texas rig in the back. I see some shade right here. This might be an opportunity. That looks so good. Oh gosh, we had a bite. Gosh dang it, gosh dang it. Spinner bait nice and slow. There we go. Oh sh Oh Weston. Oh, that one. He's got one. All right, I thought it was bigger. Nice. Green pumpkin purple it looks like. Eight. I've had to work for this fish. What's it's catching? Threes, fours, six pounders. <laughs> Here's top what water. I have to show. <laughs> top water was working really good earlier. That's all I got to say. Can't always catch the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Devin's been smoking me lately every time we go out. And we still have quite a bit of time here, so she might still come out on top. But that six pounder put me in a pretty good spot for the day. All right, what else is over here? We can't really work much of this over yonder because there's rock that goes all the way to the surface. I can see it. So I might be able to cast over there, but I won't be able to actually troll, troll on over there. There he is. He came back for it. He hit it twice, I was going to say. He's all right. Two to three. Oh, wants to pull. What you got, buddy? Woo! Really running. Dang, this thing's fighting. How big is it? <laughs> He's probably two and a half to three. Jeez, it's not quitting. Oh my gosh. This thing is going berserk. I have not had a bass this size fight like this in a long time. Oh my gosh, he's still running like crazy. What is happening? Chill, chill. Can you imagine that on the fly rod? Wow, this on the fly rod would be nuts. That's right. You might be worth a picture. Let's put you in the well, huh? I like this property. We're gonna go for it. I think we're, is it gonna go? Is it gonna go? I think it's going. I think it's going. We're in. Oh my God. 
Okay, we can only move like two feet, but we're in the dragon's lair. Oh turtle my layer. gosh, we're in the turtle lair. <laughs> Maybe he'll go back for the baby. No, look, he was over here. Fish, bass. I know they're here. Now this, this could be where one actually gets a jerk bait. Yes! <laughs> Finally! The Dragon Slayer produces! <laughs> the true back 40. Holy cow! Straight braid. Woo! Okay, don't hit the wall. Dude, this has been like non stop work at the trolling motor. You can't even hit spot lock back here because it's still kind of like will run you into these walls. Check this out. How crazy is that? Such a cool spot. We're gonna get it back in the water. See you, bud. Dragon's Lair, y'all. I even had to get on Instagram and upload a story post. If y'all aren't following us on Instagram, you'd be able to see this fishing location. I, I post up ahead of time on Instagram. Probably like days in advance, for sure. So if you're not following us on Instagram, check us out. You'll be able to see content exclusively before it rolls out. And now we're gonna try and make it back through this right here. It's literally a mud puddle. Inches of water. We barely got through it on the way in, but I'm thinking if I crank the motor up, we can make it happen. We're stuck. The fish only can get back here when it rains like crazy. I mean, look at this spot. And then I'm imagining when it's low and it's a little dry, they're just stuck in those small pools and individual columns. So hopefully there's enough crawfish or frogs or bait fish for them to feed on. There's probably some sizable ones in there, which is absolutely nuts, but we're gonna make it out back to the big water. See if we can get on a few more here for y'all and uh, close it out with a top five. I think we got four in the box. We could have put that last one in, but we're, we're going for bigs. She's almost on full blast, but we're really not going anywhere. So I think we're gonna have to crank it up. Do, 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 don't try this at home. Just gonna give us a little push and then try and trim up the motor real fast. I don't know. It's all dead. Oh, not quite. <laughs> not quite there yet. We're resorting to plan B. The trolling motor, it could get us in here somehow, but we had to work for it. It's a little tough getting out. There we go, got some speed. Trim that motor up. I think we're over the hump. Let me see if I can get it with the trolling motor now. <clears throat> Give it a little quick juice. Yep, yep, trim it up a little. Yep, quick juice. All right, go ahead and kill it. And trim it up. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's gonna have to give it a pop. Just gotta go left and right, that'll do it. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, Darwin! Woo! Freedom awaits. I think we're back out in open water. All right. That was a journey. Eat it. Oh, it's a little one chasing it. Kind of glad he didn't eat it. Would have guessed. Nice. Texas rig in the woods here. I might want to tie one on in a minute if that's going to be the case. What? Uh, not really the proper way. Don't. Okay, trolley motor. Okay. Okay. Ooh, it looks like it's got some weight now. There we go. There we go. That's one for the box. <laughs> Golly, they fight hard, don't they? What on earth? Oh my gosh. Holy moly. She's got a good one. Bandito bug. Ah, you want me to just net it or you want to flip it? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> He's good. Ah, oh, come here, girl. Yeah, done. That's a fatty. Ooh. All right, size up for me. We're gonna go ahead and put her in the box. That will complete our top five. And so, if we get anything bigger, we can swap out. Friends, don't freak everyone out. All right, quiet.
time in the box. Anyways, we've got about 30 minutes left to fish and we just got on a Texas rig bite all along this tree line. So we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and see if we can't link up with something bigger, maybe even a seven or eight pounder, who knows? I know it's possible, let's try. <laughs> Good. That was awesome. That's the spot right there. Oh my gosh. Well, Devin's on with another T rig fish. It looks pretty good. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty good one. Jeez. That's three and a half, probably. Three, three and a half. Let's go ahead and get some picks. Closing things out, y'all. We haven't caught any dinks. This is an awesome property, I have got to say. And I think we're gonna head back on up home. Devin's gotta get to work, and I gotta get to editing, so. All right, time to load her up. Okay, 